In this video, we'll be looking at how to use the ticket listing filters and views in RepairDesk. Let's begin! Ticket listings have been refined in RepairDesk for better clarity and ease of use. To view the filters, let's first head over to Repairs in the top nav bar and select Manage Tickets. We'll now be brought to the Tickets page, where at the top, we'll see a new bar asking if you'd like to switch to the new interface. Select Switch and we'll be taken to the new UI. Over here, our default view shows all the tickets listed in sequence in front of us. And on the top right, we'll see options for Filters, Overview, Export, and creating a ticket. Let's select the Filters button first. We'll now see a new section added to the screen with a number of filter options. Using a combination of them, we can create our own custom filters for the tickets page. To save a custom filter for later use, click on the Save Filter button. Then enter a name for your custom filter, select an icon, and choose if you'd like to load it up as the default filter for the tickets page. Then click on Save. Now let's select the Overview button to bring up our overall ticket stats. You'll now be able to see a graph that shows you all your created tickets, with indicators for how many are open, closed, cancelled, on hold, or warranty repairs. Clicking on an indicator will apply a filter that shows us all the tickets with that status. Next, let's have a look at the ticket columns themselves. On the ticket list, we can click on the gear icon to bring up a list of all the ticket columns available. Checking and unchecking the column names makes them visible or hides them in our ticket view. We can also reorder our columns by dragging and dropping the column names between each other. When we're done, we're going to click on the Save button to confirm our changes. The ticket list also allows us to delete or change the status of multiple tickets. Simply select all the tickets you'd like by using the checkboxes. Then use either the status drop-down button to change their status or click on the delete button to permanently remove them from the system. And lastly, the ticket view list now also allows you to directly load up tickets for checkout. Simply choose the ticket that you'd like to process and from the Actions column, select the Menu button and click Checkout. Your ticket should be instantly loaded into the POS, ready for the checkout process. That concludes our tutorial on how to use the ticket listing filters and views in RepairDesk. Thanks for watching.